Hi guys. We're here for our math Monday. I got this from uh, Crystal from the Real Lady Electricians. I won this in one of her giveaways. And I've got a cucumber mask. Heat mask. Um, it's going to take us 20 minutes to put these on. I hate how thin they make these. I'm always scared I'm going to tear them. So these are not easy to um the pixie mask I'm using. It's not easy to get I'm putting this on right here. And you stretch this part out a little bit. Hey guys, I'm going to have to, um, written, I'm dyeing my hair right now. Well, Michelle's dyeing my hair right now. And we're going to have to pause in the middle of this to go rinse it. Because... We don't have 15 minutes left, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you hear the alarm on my iPad go off, we're going to have to pause. So, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Um, I'm finally feeling better. What had happened was I was missing one of my 18 medications. Mm -hmm. And it was an important one. And so that's why I've been so sick. It was for my... Uh, nerve pain and um, stuff like that so my neuropathy but i'm finally feeling better guys woohoo a long three weeks for me okay so we had a thing up on instagram but nobody asked any questions for us yeah you guys just liked our our picture we put on instagram but nobody asked any questions I don't know if you guys just didn't read what I wrote on there, you know, because sometimes that happens, but, um, I got a lot of likes, but I don't, but nobody asked any questions. So please, if you want to ask us something, give us something to do on Mask Mondays. <laughs> we would love to do that. So go to my Instagram at Riley Heather M, all lowercase, and, um, Leave some questions for us on Instagram. We'd appreciate it a lot. So, okay, go ahead. We're going to answer some questions Michelle's looking at. Yeah. Um, okay. If you were a potato, what way would you like to be cooked? Um, baked. Yeah, I'd probably like to be baked too. Or fried in onions. Mm. Would you go to space if you knew you could never come back to Earth? No. I think I would. I mean, yeah, as long as it wasn't, like, really, like, if I had people with me and I wasn't alone, and it was, it was fun. <laughs> this folded up. Yeah. The new folded up. Okay. Have you ever been mistaken for someone famous? Yes. I haven't. Who were you mistaken for? Um. She was on Friends. 
I can't remember her name. I've never seen her. Oh, and you won't know. Well, I think she's in some other movies too, but I forget what her name is. But everybody, was, when I was growing up, always told me I looked like her. What animal would you choose to be? A bird. Yeah, I'd probably want to be a bird too. Uh, what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Um, I got in the car with a stranger at the store one time. So I thought it was our car. So I just opened up the door and sat down and I looked and it wasn't anybody I knew. They were laughing so hard at me. <laughs> I think... That time when you when you moved out here, but I stayed in Colorado, and I've been so used to kissing my boyfriend that I went and kissed you on the lips. You don't remember that? Mm -mm. No, I did it in front of Sack and everything. Like I went up and I sort of just. You told me you did that with your dad, but I don't remember with my dad. Uh, but it was extremely awkward, and I still think about it on a daily basis. Um, what's the strangest gift you've ever received? What's the what? Strangest gift you've ever received. Strangest. I don't know if I've ever received the uh, strange gift. Yeah. But I did get that really expensive coffee maker on Christmas. And nobody would tell me who sent it. I remember there being a coffee maker. But I feel like it just showed up randomly one day. It did. It came on the porch. They, it came from Amazon and they delivered it to the porch, but mm. it didn't have a little note in it, nothing. And I think Grandma Sam and Grandma Terry bought it for me because theirs broke. But they said they didn't. I don't know if I believe them. What kind of reality show would you appear in? I don't know. I think I'd go like I'd go to a game show. I'd have fun on a game show. Oh, that sounds good. You gotta talk a little louder though. I would go to a game show. I would enjoy being on a game show. <laughs> um, which of Snow White's seven dwarves descri describes you the best? I can name them. Sleepy two. and dopey. <laughs> um, I think bashful. Bashful. Mm. What is your favorite strange food combination? I like to like mix ketchup and mayonnaise on my fries. I like cinnamon sugar on eggs. Mm -hmm. Like scrambled eggs and cheese. We, I used to put cinnamon in our, in our um, spaghetti. And sauce when you guys were growing up and I still cooked. <laughs> I put I made some spaghetti and put cinnamon in it because I had tried it at you weren't even two yet. Tried it at when I was a nanny for that couple. Mm -hmm. She she had made that and I was oh my god, this is so good. What is this? And she she's like, um uh, it has cinnamon in it. I was like, Cinnamon? Like who would put cinnamon in spaghetti? But then I started doing it, and then I told I think Julie about it. She started doing it. It just tastes really good. If you could be a kitchen appliance, what one would you be and why? Kitchen appliance. I'm not allowing people to tell me who I can and can't talk to. I'm not allowing. I think I would be a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. What about you? I think I'd be a microwave. Why? Seems fun. <laughs> Just suck off all day long. 
any kind of food that we can eat. How much longer do we have? Anyway, um, I'm trying really hard to okay. stick up for myself more. And to How long have we been recording? Probably uh, 10 minutes. And a half minutes. So we got another five minutes. So we'll just leave. I'm just going to leave the hair color on for another five minutes before we take the mask off. And what I should be doing. Like I've allowed way too many people to do that to me. And I've realized that it is. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? To have your raw fish. That time when I was pregnant with you and your dad took me. That was the worst thing I've ever eaten. Unless you count the dirt I ate when I was growing up. I had some kind of iron deficiency or something, uh, and so I was, I would make mud pies and eat them. Oh. <laughs> when we got really hungry and there wasn't much food, we'd go eat all the cat food. Mm. I don't know what the worst thing I've ever eaten was. My least favorite is green beans. Oh, I love green beans. I hate green beans. Canned. It has to be, okay, you have to have canned green beans. I do not like frozen. I do not like fresh, but I love canned green beans. Fresh is okay. Publicly associated with other female cuisines, they have drama going on with other people. And I think that's absolutely. What's the worst movie you've ever watched? I think that. Um. What movie was that? I went to the theater and we actually left because it was so stupid. I don't, I don't remember who it was, but there was a time when I went to the movies, and the, and the movie was so boring that we left. It was, it sucked. We were all really disappointed in that movie, but I don't remember what movie it was. I'm gonna try and rewatch them again, but I really did not enjoy the Twilight. I've never seen them. They're so boring. I hate it when things takes, like, you start something and it takes you, they're so slow for the plot. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like slow stuff. Yeah. So, it's just. Actually, you know what? I know what the worst thing I've ever seen was. We had it on, uh, I think it was DVD. Apparently it was a game. But it was made by this company called Dingo Pictures or something. It was called Dalmatians 3. It was 45 minutes long, and it looks like somebody made it in their basement that had never made a movie before in their entire life, and, like, hired their next door neighbor to voice act. But I legitimately, like, it had, like, a child slavery plot point. Um, and it starts with puppies being jealous of a cat. Because the cat had a gingerbread cookie and the puppies get arrested. Um, but it's called Dalmatians 3. It had a picture of Cruella DeVille on it, but Cruella DeVille is not in the movie whatsoever. Not even once. Huh. Um, but I grew up thinking it was the third Dalmatians movie. The 101 Dalmatians. I thought it was a legit 101 Dalmatians movie. It's, that's what I thought when you told me. Um, but you. It's literally, apparently, because I, I did, looked it up recently and learned more about it, the plot, the half the movie, the 45 minute long movie, half of it was from Dalmatians 1, Dal which is also made by the same people. Dalmatians 2 doesn't exist. They went from Dalmatians 1 to Dalmatians 3. And then half of Dalmatians 3 is a flashback to Dalmatians 1. Wow. Yeah. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But everything Dingo Pictures makes is terrible. It's all Disney knockoffs. How long do I have? Um, like a minute. Okay. Because the alarm already went off a couple minutes ago. Guys, we're doing we're doing a collab with a bunch of ladies, and it's the end of summer giveaway. So next video you see, or actually, it might post before this one. It'll, it'll post up on the 4th. Um, I'll post it on the 4th. So, um, look, make sure you keep an eye on that because there's a lot of ladies involved and everybody's doing a, 
Um, everybody is doing a giveaway. So you could, you have like, I think it's 18 ladies. So you can enter 18 giveaways. Maybe you'll win one. Um, so watch for, watch for that. And um, we will, I got to go rinse my hair. It's been 15 minutes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it, it turned orange. Your face doesn't look stained, though. It doesn't? No. Okay. It's good to just rub that on your face and rub what's in, on your face in a little bit. And you can put it on your arms and hands if you mm -hmm. have dry arms and hands like me. I don't me. like having my face wet. Don't like your face wet. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, she doesn't like her face wet. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> we will see you guys. Um, I don't know how I got so much coloring on me when you were the one that did the hair. Um, I'm not good at coloring hair. <laughs> no, but you'll you'll get better at it. Yeah. Um, you do a much better job than your brother. Don't spill the serum out there. I want to say that. You can fan yourself if you want, but I can get you the fan. Anyway, sorry guys, we're blabbing and we're still recording. We love you guys, and we're at 72 subscribers today. And we're going to be doing another big, big giveaway when we hit 100. It will be as big as our 35 um, subscribers. subscribers giveaway which was a big box um, so share like subscribe all that good stuff and um, we will talk to you guys later we love you bye all you little troublemakers